So today's video is going to be about Eminem because Tom Green plays the role of Eminem. And there's so many memes about it. This one says 2021 when Eminem morphed into Tom Green. And I bet a lot of people don't expect this one, but at the same time, it is in plain sight. Because somebody made this comparison on Twitter, right? And they tagged Eminem and Tom Green. So Tom Green saw it and he said, word up, peace and love to Slim Shady. So why would Tom Green respond to somebody saying that Eminem looks like Tom Green? And then there's hundreds of tweets of people comparing them. This one says, why does Eminem look like Tom Green doing an Eminem impression? So they're basically saying, why does Eminem look like Tom Green impersonating Eminem? Because that's exactly what he's doing. Tom Green is putting on a disguise to look like Eminem. And Tom Green is not a real person either. You know, like I always say, a lot of times we never find the base character in these situations. You know, somebody is playing Tom Green and Eminem. So to save confusion, I just like to say that they're the same person. And this person said, tell me why Eminem looks like Tom Green. And there's even a lot of celebrities on Twitter that were making tweets about it. This guy said, Eminem has Benjamin Button disease. Except instead of turning into a baby, he just incrementally morphs into Tom Green. And then this person said, 2000 Eminem references Tom Green. 2018 Eminem becomes Tom Green. So Eminem referenced Tom Green multiple times. And the most famous one is one that he did in one of his songs. But I'll get to that later on because there's so much mockery with that. And then this one says Eminem looks more like Tom Green with each passing day. And as you guys can see, they look just alike. You know, obviously these people never look exactly the same. So when you're watching my videos and you say, bro, they don't even look alike. You know, you have to keep in mind that they're not going to look exactly the same. This is why I recommend you guys do research after watching my videos because a lot of people just watch my video and they don't see it. You know what I mean? So some people do see it right away when I make the video, but I understand that not everybody's going to see it after watching my video. So if you don't see it after watching my video, go look at pictures until you start to see it because these type of things take a while to see. Some of them are easier to see than others, but the more you look into it, you will slowly start to see the resemblance between both of them. And then this person said, is it just me or is Eminem and Tom Green the same person? So the reason why I show you guys a lot of tweets is because I want you guys to see that a lot of other people are noticing this too. It's not just me. If even regular people are questioning if they're the same person, that should let you know that there's something weird going on. And then this guy said, why does Eminem look like Tom Green in Road Trip? Eminem has morphed into Tom Green. And then this picture right here confirmed it for me because... This is a picture of Tom Green, and he looks exactly like Eminem right here in this screenshot. And this guy said, what if Eminem has been a Tom Green character all this time? And then this is the face that Eminem makes. So clearly this is Tom Green. And here's some more comparisons. Right here, they look just alike. And isn't it funny that Tom Green started playing Eminem as soon as Eminem got that beard? And another connection is that Tom Green is a comedian and Eminem does a lot of like funny references in his music. He makes a lot of jokes in his music. If you guys listen to Eminem, you know what I'm talking about. So this guy said, that's Eminem, looks more like Tom Green. Because I guess this picture is from a Super Bowl that he's going to be attending. And here's some more comparisons. So honestly, after watching this music video, I was able to see it right away. This music video is called Nat, so I recommend you guys watch it because you will start to see Tom Green a lot in this music video. And there's so many comparisons of them online, and there's so much mockery with it because they both reference each other all the time. And I'll show the videos at the end of this video. But first I want to show you guys a couple more tweets. So another celebrity said, Eminem looks like Tom Green doing an impression of Eminem. And then another celebrity said, he tagged Eminem and then he said, Tom Green, is that you? So it's funny that Eminem makes so many references to Tom Green. And here's another connection because people say that Eminem's music is too explicit, which means that it's too mature for kids. And Tom Green's content is also not for kids because he does a lot of crazy stuff. And then here's another reference. Apparently Eminem said that Tom Green and South Park make him laugh like crazy. Alright, so now I want to get to the person that played Eminem during his Not Afraid era. So if you guys remember this Eminem from like 2009, 
he looked way different, and that's because he was played by Wentworth Miller, which is an actor from Prison Break, which is one of my favorite shows, by the way. And it's funny because when I used to watch that show, I used to always say, why does this guy look so much like Eminem? So this Eminem was played by Wentworth Miller, and I'm not going to spend too much time on this because he's not playing him anymore, because now Tom Green plays Eminem. So I'm pretty sure Wentworth Miller is out there playing other roles now. But as you guys can see, these two M&Ms are two different people. The one on the left is Wentworth Miller, and then the one on the right is Tom Green. And then apparently Eminem has a lyric in one of his songs where he said he doesn't exist. How do I not play myself in front of one of my favorite rappers of all time? How do I, I gotta figure this out. And he quoted one of my lyrics, he said, how can I be white? I don't even exist. Wow. And I was like, what the f so Dre had played him that, mm. but I just like, it blew my mind. Like that was the, actually, I think Tretch is actually the first rapper that I ever met, like famous rapper in person. And he's one of your absolute favorites, right? Like he's like, I know he's in the top three for you. Oh, he's up there. Or whatever. He's definitely, yeah. He, he, yeah, he has to be up there. Like he, he, he taught me so many things like different flow patterns. He, he was so unorthodox with the flow and, always had the punch lines mm. what he said i heard your tape and flip the next side looking for the deaf side you couldn't be all right if i erased your left side like he had the punch lines man. i'll play it again in case you missed it I, I gotta figure this out and he quoted one of my lyrics he said how can i be white i don't even exist wow and i was like what the f so now let's get into the mockery because eminem did so much mockery with this because he has a lyric where he said, I want to get on TV and just let loose, but I can't, but it's cool for Tom Green to hump a dead moose. So this lyric is very popular and Eminem and Tom Green did so much mockery with this because Eminem tweeted this quote on Twitter and he said, sometimes I want to get on TV and just let loose, but I can't, but it's cool for Tom Green to hump a dead moose. And he tagged Tom Green in this and Tom Green responded as if he's not Eminem. So he's basically responding to himself. Wait a minute. I just got tweeted by the goat. What's up, Eminem? Peace and love to the greatest of all time. Wow. TG here, Tom Green. Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? <laughs> I said, will the real Slim Shady please stand up? Now what am I gonna do? I probably got a couple of screws up in my head loose But no worse than what's going on in your parents' bedroom Sometimes just wanna go on TV and let loose But can't, but school for time green to hump a dead moose My bum is on your lips, my bum is on your lips And if I get lucky, I might give it a little kiss My bum is on your lips, my bum is on your lips And if I get lucky, I might give it a little kiss Peace Thank you, Eminem, you're the greatest, man Awesome <laughs> So cool, thanks for the tweet, man Awesome. So there was so much mockery in that. He basically responded to Eminem by freestyling over Eminem's beat. So that goes to show you that Tom Green is a rapper. And of course, he's not going to rap as good as Eminem because most of Eminem's music is actually deep faked. And I'll show proof of that at the end of this video. So watch this entire video because I'm going to show you guys a lot of videos at the end of Tom Green putting the truth in plain sight. And then I'm going to show you guys a deep faked Eminem song at the end. So anyways, um, Tom Green made a tweet quoting Eminem's lyric again. And as you guys can see, Tom Green did a skit where he dressed up like Eminem in this music video. So I'm going to show you guys that video right now. And it's funny because Eminem actually introduced this video on live TV. I think it was on MTV. The show is a little clip from this next episode. You know, everyone thinks they're the real Slim Shady, but they're not. Everyone thinks I'm a stupid dummy, my mom, my dad. But I'm going to show them I'm the real Slim Shady. I'm the real Slim Shady. Ma'am, why do you think you're the real Slim Shady? Please, please say I'm the real Slim Shady. I'm the real Slim Shady. You're a liar. I'm the real Slim Shady. Excuse me. Hi. Shady. Shady. Ma'am. Excuse me. Hi. Hip hop. My bum is on the garbage. My bum is on the garbage. Please, 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 I'm a Slim Shady. Please, please, girl, please, it's very important. 
Can you say Slim Shady? No. Shady? Shady! Garbage can! Maybe you'll listen to me! Please listen to me! I am the real Slim Shady! What? I'm the real Slim Shady? Shady? Shady! It's very important for my own home personal use! Just, just Slim Shady and then I'll leave, I promise. Slim Shady? Yes, Slim Shady! Gentlemen! Man that is gentle! This is a gentle man! Hard? Construction worker! Working construction, please! I know you are a very gentle man! Please don't drill me! I just want to step up on the sky lip. Anybody that wear a outfit like that has got to be shaky, please. Shady! Shady, sir! Can I please step on the sky lip? Just, just one second, please. You know what? Maybe I'm not the real Slim Shady. I'm so stupid! So that was a video of Tom dressed up as Eminem for his Slim Shady music video. And as always, they made it a joke. That way they're putting the truth in plain sight. But they made it a joke. That way you don't take it serious. And if you look at his Slim Shady music video, there's a lot of different Eminems in the video. So once again, they're putting the truth in plain sight that they get all these actors to play that celebrity. And then Slim Shady and Tom Green equal 38 in Gematria. Just like Rapper, Death, and Murder. And it's crazy that Murder and Tom Green have the same numbers in the same cipher. And that's funny because Eminem has an album called Music To Be Murdered By. So that explains why the word murder matches up with Tom Green. And now to finish off the video, last thing I want to show you guys is Eminem basically admitting that he's not straight. So he did an interview where he said that he uses the dating app Grinder, And then it says fans have been debating whether he was joking or not. So even if he was joking, why would he joke about that? You know, it's obvious that he's putting the truth in plain sight. I like men. And then this is a clip from the movie The Interview. Where he basically admitted that he's not straight. And that he likes men. So I'm going to play for you guys again. I like men. And then he also has an unreleased song with Joyner Lucas. And you guys can see the title right here. And look at these lyrics, guys. Do I even have to explain to you guys why this is really weird? You know, they basically put the truth in plain sight. And I will be exposing Joyner Lucas in my next video because he's playing another role too. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to drop a like, share, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Because they're unsubbing a lot of people from my channel. Last thing I want to show you guys is a couple videos where Tom Green talks about Eminem and he's putting the truth in plain sight. You know, there's so much mockery with this. And then I'm going to show you guys a song that was deep faked of Eminem. And this goes to show you how easy it is for them to deep fake his music and all music in general because 99% of mainstream music is deep faked, which basically means that it's made by a computer. So thank you guys for watching and I'm out silly and shocking perhaps but uh, i think it's probably more important that parents talk to their kids oh so do and, i uh, but i don't know why mtv continues to do this all that i do know why they want to make money all right let's get to the music industry which i think has been very very harmful to unsupervised children throughout the country now we got this guy eminem okay and he's a multimillionaire now and and he is uh exploited the uh, rage of disenfranchised uh, young adults and kids uh, who are feel that society is bad to them. Do you see him doing anything wrong? You know, I, I mean, I, I, like I said, I watch your show all the time, Bill, and I think maybe you sort of don't fully understand rap music. And I'm not the exact you know, hip-hop authority of America. I don't know everything about rap music. I probably listen to more of it than you have. Uh, but I think that um, it's it's uh, basically you have to look at rap music like a like a movie. Okay, this is this is a uh, Eminem as satire in his lyrics, parody in his lyrics. Uh, I mean, he's made fun of me in one of his songs, and uh, I think uh, which is you know a pretty easy target to be honest with you. But uh, you know, I don't really see that 
you can get any more riled up about rap music than you can about a, a movie. Uh, you know, there's people getting killed in The Godfather and in, in, in uh, you know movies all the time. All right. So it's, it's let really me tell you why you're it's wrong. Just because this is expressing their freedom. Uh, you know, a speech. movie is a movie. It's a one-shot deal. This is a culture that's been created by uh, the big corporations. Eminem's a well. Puppet. Movies are a huge part of our culture too. All right, though. but it's a one-shot. I mean, every movie is a one-shot deal. All right, this isn't. This is a culture. Eminem's a puppet, and so are the gangster rappers. Here's a, here's the deal. I had two inner city uh, grammar school teachers in here. They taught fifth grade. All right, and I said yeah. to them, um, "What influence has all of this rap, gangster rap, primarily had on your children?" And they both said to me, "We now have ten-year-old boys calling ten-year-old girls bitches and hoes." Okay. Now, yeah, is, again, is I this, think well, well, Mr. Green, I think is this the I kind of that, society think, that you want to live in? Yeah, I think that gets back to what we were talking about earlier, though, with the Madonna Britney kiss uh, situation. Is I think you know, if you're sitting there with your 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 kid and your kid's listening to this music and starts saying, on the Fox News Channel, can I I can just say that on the Fox News you Channel? You bet you can. Really? Yeah, we've already well, we said it. Be, we should be careful. There could be kids watching. Well, listen. This is a news program, and it's in context of what's happening, okay? Yeah. This is happening. I understand. And you have, no, you have I know. millions not, of unsupervised not. children, not, not yeah, who are not seeing what who have adopted... No, no wait, 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 Mr. Green. They've adopted this lifestyle. We have adopted yeah. this lifestyle to their okay, what, detriment. Let me finish my point, though. My point is that I, I listened to a lot of rap music when I was growing up. And again, I, I didn't even think we were talking about music today on the show, but that's fine. I thought we were going to talk well, about comedy. Well, you work comedy. for MTV. But... Uh, but, yeah, no, that's fine. I'm happy to talk about it. Um, I mean, I grew up listening to rap music, and I, I don't say Maybe bitches and I, I assume you had good... I, I, I do defend it, though, because I think that it, I think you're misunderstanding part of it, uh, a, a culture that is, uh, you know, predominantly listened to by young people, and, and you're not re really able to do the math and, and see that the same thing happens in movies and, and things that older people listen to so mr and, green and we watch. appreciate you coming on and, and i'm really glad you watched the factor spread the word out yeah no i want can you come on my show bill i want you to come on my show we'll try to work it out thank you very much mid, mr. Green. mid midnight on mtvs come on all right directly ahead a record quote pick but just as being an mc eminem right yes just because i saw the birth of eminem i actually had his record, his his cassette, when he was thinking about having his girl in the trunk, and watching him go from that to being like, right now considered the biggest rapper of all time, uh, he earned it, and yeah. I was I was fortunate to watch his growth and his excitement. You know, the normals, everybody's Pac, Biggie, blah blah blah. Those will be my top five. Um, and I'm not really, I'm not as big an Eminem fan as far as his records. I'm just a fan as far as his skill. Right. Like his ability. The motherfucker can wrap circles around motherfuckers. He's pretty amazed. Just the, just the writing, the wordplay, the speed, of these, the intricacy of it all. Yeah, just when you think he can't do it any better, he I was with Dre the other day, and Dre played some shit, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, make <laughs> you want to rap it. And then another thing, M said the first rap record he ever heard was Reckless. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go, right? And he was there probably he was probably, he was probably probably breakdancing to it and popping and locking to, to your music, and probably his reason he's a rapper and and a billionaire today because of you. Yes, I, I got I got to <laughs> put a little I get a little seed in there on the birth of M, so I'll take that. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, let's. After recent controversy, rapper Eminem is declaring himself a feminist. This song, this song was written, was written and, sung and sung by an artificial, artificial intelligence program. Leaving us, us all to ask. Will the woke Slim Shady please stand up? We big can have it all, then we can't even have a half. No, even your GPS know that it's safer in the back. My old lady said she'd rather walk the town and get in the car with me. It's mass playing and it's mass spreading, then it literally kills women on the daily. It's happening a lot these days, it's 2017. Still alive from the age, it's a splinter from the past and the future push and planks through her backs. And if you can't think of anything to say, you got to be real careful, cause it might be a big dis, a big dis but it's only a line.
But if you pass some gas in my line, someone's mother is gonna cost you more than just your job. A lot more than what you make. Yup, I found out that there are consequences when I spit poetry. Yeah, I've got a few scars, but it's worth the risk if I break some glass or silence some men. Nobody's safe when I'm around, cause sometimes me and my music, we pull hair from my personal life. And I'm standing up the men who are hairy and stink. You know they think they're on top, but I got them by the snake. And I go toe to toe with a dude like Rick Rubin And every time he says Drop it to the floor He disses on women And Rick don't get between me and my floor It's gone be war It's a lot like the Huns versus Roman Empire I'm the Huns and Rick Rubin is the fucking empire Fuck Rick Rubin so for you women, whether you're at home with a baby or working a job I'm with you, I see what's happening For all of my sisters out there That I've heard it and confused, it's just not right It's like my mom always said You can't pick your ass if it's on fire You know about me and my baby girl We stick together like bubble gum on tooth It's not that hard to see what's contagious every time we hear So let me say one more thing My queen, my baby girl Nothing can hold us back when me and my daughter are on our own Now let's get Kanye in here He's gonna talk about Taylor Swift Rick Rubin is an anti-feminist I can't stand the way he treats girls Even when he tries to cover up his dirt Wait, now I just found out that this whole thing is a scam Rick Rubin is behind the whole thing He's the government and the women and the people It's David versus Goliath So let's go to Booby Town